Phil, yeah, sure. I'm disappointed with the Nationals. You've got three cabinet ministers now under a cloud. Mm. This doesn't seem to be a problem that's afflicted the Liberal Party or the Labor Party. Well, look, um, Phil, uh, l let me make this point. Um, we have a situation where um, our legal advice is very, very strong. Uh, and I am very confident that the court will find that uh, Nash, uh, Fiona Nash, Barnaby Joyce and Matt Canavan are not disqualified from sitting in the parliament. OK, we'll just leave you that see, there because the Prime Minister said they're getting on to the citizenship uh, issue because we're focusing this. on Barcelona for now. So that was live from Parliament House in Canberra. The Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull with his response to this overnight terror attack in Barcelona condemning what he could describe as this Islamist terror attack. There's been a revision of susceptibility in Australia to vehicle attacks. That was initiated in the wake of the Nice attack last year. The Prime Minister says he'll have more to say on that in the near future. And special precautions are being taken with the footy final season coming up here in Australia. Uh, and authorities here very alert to the Islamic State fighters trickling out of Syria and heading to their home countries as Islamic State struggles there in Syria against the coalition effort. Uh, the Prime Minister also criticising the actions of Pauline Hanson yesterday wearing that burqa into the Senate. The Prime Minister pointing out that good relations with the Muslim community are essential in the fight against terrorism. Okay, let's go to Europe correspondent James Glenday.